Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, <clears throat> this week we're going to be looking at some anime stuff. Um, so we're starting off with the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars wave. Um, this is the first wave, I think. Or it's not completely because I know by now these figures have been out uh, a long time. Um, but not for me. I've only just seen these this year, or I've, I heard about them before. But you know, like in real life, in person, like out in the wild, these have only just hit my town. Um, and it's the first two waves. It's not the first wave. It's the first two waves. And I'm pretty sure I picked up one figure from each of the waves. Um, purely because I don't know if I'm even interested in getting. The whole waves, but I, I definitely wanted these figures. So today we're kicking it off with Super Saiyan Goku. Um, just want to quickly say I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan. Have been for many, many years now. Um, been waiting a while to get some figures for Dragon Ball Z that are in this scale. Um, that don't cost lots of money like the Figure Arts ones. Uh, I'm not knocking the Figure Arts ones. They're really good figures. I just think they're very expensive, um, and I don't like the scale and the way some of the joints look. But enough of that, let's move on to this figure, because that's what we're here for. And first things first, we're going to take a look at the box, so the packaging. Um, so you have, it says Bandai up here in 4 plus. I don't know anyone under the age of 10. Who probably knows what Dragon Ball Z is these days. Um, then you have, you know, your mandatory stuff that has to be on the box. Um, it says, sorry, I just hate moving my camera around while I'm filming, but it says Dragon Ball Super, and then whatever that is. Um, and then at the bottom, it says Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Stars series sorry and then super saiyan goku in that nice sort of you know silvery what's it called spot varnish that's it it's like a spot varnish sort of effect oh and it also says it up here as well for those of you who are really digging the whole box thing um figures displayed nicely in the box uh it says super saiyan goku on the side there you get these spot varnish like are they lightning or cracks and then <clears throat> on this side you have this really cool image of Goku and then it says Dragon Ball Super at the top again. Um but really nice image. I'm gonna keep these boxes in you know good condition or as best condition as I can because really like the artwork. Um yeah. So moving on to the back, you will see that this is actually series so this is wave one right here. Um and you can get Super Saiyan Goku the figure we're looking at, and then you can get standard Vegeta and Beerus. Um, the Beerus does look pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, so, and then Wave 2 is basically Super Saiyan Vegeta, who we'll look at in a later video. Uh, Freezer, that is a badass figure, better than the Figure Arts one. I don't own it, but I, I've seen it in person, and I went back to getting it and it was gone. And then you've got standard Goku. Uh... Not really much else going on that you haven't seen. Just some more, you know, stuff that they have to put on the box. And then it just says Dragon Stars and Dragon Ball Super all over it again. So that's the package done. We're going to move on to the accessories next. Now, before I get you a really good look at the accessories, um, <clears throat> I just want to quickly say, if you're into the figure arts figures, um, or any imports at all, really. You, there's a there's a slight chance you might be disappointed with this figure. If you don't collect them, and uh, this is new to you, like it can be for some people, then that's cool. But you're definitely getting a lot less with these figures than you do the figure arts ones. Although these do come in at the cheaper price point. So I mean, it's it's really. I guess it's just up to you at the end of the day. If you feel like you need all those posing hands and faces and stuff and you've got the money to spend, do that. But, uh, yeah, so just quickly, it does come with a... I'm not going to call this a builder figure. 
because it's more really it's just going to be like a um a builder statue but if we can get a good look at this please focus Come on, I know you can do it. I've seen you do it before. Okay, alright. It's not going to focus super well. So I just quickly do it like this. But, uh, oh, now there you go. So it, it's sort of focused then. You have to bear with me, I'm just getting used to this camera. But as you can see, it is painted really nice and sculpted really nice. It's just not going to do a whole lot. And I do fear it won't. Um, be in scale because Goku and um, Shenron don't have the same size head or like you know near enough but yeah this is a build figure piece I said I wasn't going to do that and I just did it for god's sake but yeah this is what you get with Goku basically it's the builder Shenron head so get that out of the way and then next um, so obviously you get the fists, and I mean, if you're into your domestic figures, like I collect a lot of Marvel Legends, so just an extra pair of hands is all I'm I'm really used to. Do you know what? Like, there's two there, you can see that, but I'm just going to show you one. Um, if it'll let me focus on it, but yeah, you basically you only get this. You get if you count the fists, it's two pairs, but. You only really get this, um, you get two of these like style posed hands, and I think all the figures come with these same style hands, just sculpted and painted differently. But uh, yeah, I mean, you they come in handy as you'll see later on in the video. But uh, yeah, so they're there, um, and that's pretty much all you get. So we'll move on to the figure next. Right, so, on to the figure. Now, I just want to quickly say, I I really like these figures. Um, you know, they, uh, they're everything I want in a Dragon Ball Z figure, so I can't really complain too much. But one of the things I really, really love about these is, um, I'm just going to go over this quickly, the hair, man. The hair. I mean, it's not picking up super well on camera. But, uh, yeah, just the hair is amazing. Like, it's done in this metallic sort of yellow. And I, I don't know, looking through my viewfinder, there's like a uh, sort of a yellowish hinge. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, there's a... I don't know what happened there, but yeah. Um, there's like a, a greenish sort of hue in it as well. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't pick up in person. It just looks really nice and gold and shiny, but it's really vibrant and it pops really nicely. Um, just a really good job with the hair there. Uh, really, really like that. Oh, and uh, I'll probably show you in the other video, but it, uh, it is slightly different colour compared to the Vegeta. So... I just, I wanted to quickly show you the hair off, but, uh, yeah, I mean, if you just look at the figure in general, you can see it's sculpted pretty nicely all over, do you know, like, you know, you even get your, your fists sculpted pretty nicely, and there's the back of the figure, the boots are done really nice, um, so I can't complain about that, and then just, you have no peg holes or anything on the feet, and that's where all the you know, the copyright information is or whatever. Which I appreciate, by the way. Marvel Legends don't do that. They just stick a massive, brightly coloured, you know, code number straight on the, uh... Straight on the thigh of the figure or something, which is a pain in the ass, if I'm honest. But, yeah. Right, so, moving on to the articulation. And I, uh, I just want to quickly... I'm not going to try and... Do too many comparisons with figure arts because they're just not in the same sort of ballpark. But yeah, to go over the articulation quickly, you've got a little range of motion in the head, so he can look sideways, no problem. In fact, it does turn all the way around. I just don't know why you'd want to do that. He looks down that much and up, which not a lot really. Thinking about it, um, but yeah, about 
you know, you, you get your, your attitude in there. So, I mean, fairly okay. I mean, I, I guess a lot of this, uh, the sculpt of the hair stops it. And I don't, I don't know if you can see in there, actually, but it should give you some sort of idea to how the thing is made. Anyway, I think that is literally just a ball peg. Um, yeah, it, it's just a single ball peg. Uh, that's the head for you. Um, the arms, they do go all the way round. They come out a little bit due to the sculpt. Uh, they go out that much, um, which isn't bad. You know, it's it's not what you get with your Marvel Legends, but it, it's not bad. So, I mean, I can't complain too much. There you go. That's how that looks. You have the bicep swivel. Uh, double jointed elbow, which works better than any other domestic figure I've ever seen. So I'm not going to complain, complain about that. And uh, then you have the ball peg wrists. Um, so you have to sort of move that around how you want in order to hinge it. But um, yeah, it, it works fairly well. And then if you, you know, you utilize that waist crunch where I, I guess again... It's a sculptor Go Goku's belt just stops it from working super well. But you can sort of get him to look up a bit more um, if you utilise that sort of waist crunch. But he does swivel there, which is good. And he moves back a little bit and forwards a little bit. So, I mean, it, it definitely helps when you're posing the figure around. Um, now, the next thing I want to talk about is because these figures, they have really cool hips, okay? So... There's your standard hips, and you can move them around however you want like that, but the best feature about these hips are, so like, you just see how I uh, I took the joint down. It goes down like that, so then when you kick up, you know, and you, you position the foot, you can really get him kicking up really well. So like, you know, you can get your super Dragon Ball Z fighting, you know, hyper-stylized fighting, poses any way you want so that's i mean that's really cool you always see that and um, then you have the double jointed knee which doesn't work super well um it looks really ugly as well i mean i was saying about avoiding figure arts uh figures just because of the way the joints looks i'm not too happy about this but it's goku's pants in the way they're sculpted so you can get away with it and then you don't have any sort of swivel up here you have it all in the foot, so you you know you you get it to pivot side to side like your ankle rocker, which is good for helping him stand. And it goes down that much, and then up that much, and then not much else. Um, so that's the articulation done. Um, and I guess next we'll get on to posing Goku. Right, so. For posability, uh, moving on and stuff, I I could basically tell you you get all these in a lot of different poses, but if I show you every pose a figure can do all the time, I've realised you're not going to buy the figures, because you're not really going to play with it yourself if you watch another guy do it all. So, there you go. There's your option for sort of just having him in a powered up position. And then... Here's just a pose of him, I guess I like to call this just doing like your standard key blast. Um, yeah, uh, for what it's worth, I just want to quickly say I don't really like the way that looks with the wrist. But what you got to do, there are different style of figures. I can't just moan because they're all not made the right way. Um, that's what reviews are for. It's good that figures are different and there's diversity in the, in the market. Yeah, that's how that looks, and you could have that either side, you can, you know, have a fist on this side and have the blast on that side, whatever you want really, but there you go, I just thought I'd show you that. And here is Super Saiyan Goku charging his Kamehameha, so in his Kamehameha mode, and I just quickly want to say, like, these figures don't come with a lot of effects, but I work out a way... Of, I can't really do it right now with one hand on camera, but I always work a way out of just putting like a little energy effect in there just to help out with that pose, make it pop and look a bit more cool when you're doing it. But there you go, that's your standard 
Goku charge and his um, Kamehameha. And I, I don't know if anyone else can see it now, but this is what I mean. The wrists just look really bulbous. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that, but I do like the figures. And then, lastly, this is him firing his Kamehameha. Now, you can finagle it a bit, get it in a bit more of a, a better pose for the Kamehameha. Um, it, it's kind of difficult. He doesn't do it perfectly, but I think... That's good enough. Um, I'm very happy with that. So I, I'm not going to complain a whole bunch. Um, I will quickly say for some reason, like, my foot on my Goku seems to be getting looser. So I don't know if that's a thing with all of the line. If someone could pop that in the comments and let me know, that would be helpful. But yeah, he seems to be getting a bit of a gammy leg. So there you go guys, that'll do it, that was my review for the Dragon Stars, Dragon Ball Super Series 1, Super Saiyan Goku, I love this figure, I think it was made pretty well, um, obviously all that, that I said at the beginning about figure art still applies, um, but I just want you to know I think these figures are really good, and I think they're worth picking up, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, keep a lookout for the next review where we'll be doing Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, Alright guys, um, I'm going to leave it there. I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out, homes.